Hey guys, this is Miss Larson, and we're going to talk about two special cases that go over um, when you're doing limits algebraically. And they both have to do with trig. So let's take a look at the first one. So this problem says, what is the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine x over x? Notice that if I go ahead and plug in 0 into this x, that's a problem. I can't divide by 0. So my two options are going to be to either factor which there is nothing to factor in this problem, or multiply by the conjugate, which is not going to help. So um, this is what we call a special case. This entire thing, as long as you are approaching zero, is actually just going to become a zero. It has been proven in mathematics that this is always going to be true. Um, that is your first special case. If you ever see 1 minus cosine x over x and you're approaching 0, you can automatically replace it with a 0 for a special case. Let's take a look at the second one. Okay, here is our second problem. So we're going to have the limit as theta approaches 0 of sine theta over theta. Again, the denominator is going to become 0. Again, I cannot factor nor can I multiply by the conjugate to help. This is another special case. If you ever come across this kind of problem where it's sine theta divided by theta and you're approaching zero, your answer is always going to be a one. That's all for these two special cases. Keep your eye out for them. They can be kind of sneaky to see. And that will conclude this tutorial.